Hello guys, this is me Dr. Kashan Kasit today here with another lecture on a P wave abnormality. We have discussed the normal P wave morphology and its abnormalities in previous lecture. Today we will discuss those abnormalities in detail starting from the first one which is here. Number one is the absent P wave. Second one here is the tall P wave. Then we will discuss the small P wave. Likewise, wide P wave, inverted P wave and variable P waves. Starting from this one, this is the absent P wave abnormality and it is seen in all these conditions. Number one here is the atrial fibrillation, then the atrial flutter likewise as a block. In atrial flutter, P wave is replaced by the wave we called F wave or fibrillatory wave. Likewise in atrial flutter, there will be also the absent P wave or there will be no P wave or there will be the fluttering sawtooth pattern seen on a ECG paper. Likewise in SA block there will be the absent P wave, VT ventricular tachycardia, supraventricular tachycardia in which P wave is hidden within QRS complex due to ventricular tachycardia. Likewise in a hyperkalemia there will be the absent P wave or small P wave seen on a ECG paper. Then comes the tall P wave. When the amplitude of P wave is greater than 2.5 mm or greater than 2.5 small square boxes, we call it P pulmonal. And this P pulmonal is seen in all these conditions like right atrial hypertrophy, tricuspid stenosis, TOF and PAH. In right atrial hypertrophy, there will be the enlargement of the atria, which is due to core pulmonale or it can be due to COPD. In all these conditions, the P wave would be greater than 2.5 mm or greater than 2.5 small scale boxes. In tricuspid stenosis, there will be the increase right atrial pressure and this will lead to right atrial enlargement or hypertrophy leading again to the RP wave seen on a ECG paper. Likewise in teratology of fallet there will be the right ventricular hypertrophy and this will lead to increase and diastolic pressure in right ventricle leading to rise in the pressure in right atria which will lead again into the right atrial hypertrophy or enlargement. In PAH there will be these are all the conditions which are leading to tall P waves. In PAH there will be the increase after load in right ventricle this will lead to right ventricular hypertrophy there will be the increase and diastolic pressure in the right ventricle leading again same cascade at the end there will be the right atrial hypertrophy. So all these are the conditions in which there will be the tall P wave seen on a ECG paper. Then comes another abnormality which is small P wave seen in following condition atrial tachycardia, atrial ectopy, hyperkalemia. In hyperkalemia P wave can be small or it can be absent. There are other abnormalities like inverted P wave which is seen in uh, incorrectly placed leads or dextrocardia and multiple P waves which are seen in SVT supraventricular tachycardia with AV block or simply in AV blocks. AV block can be partial or it can be complete AV block. There is another condition which is called the wandering of pacemaker in which there will be the variable P wave seen on a ECG paper due to different P waves origination. So this is all about today. We have discussed the P wave. Next we will discuss the Q wave. Likewise QRS complex, ST segment. All these conditions we will discuss in my next videos. Hope you like my video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.